Hey guys, Derek here. Uh, welcome back to the layout. Uh, I know this topic's been covered before and uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of, uh, of information out there about it, but I'm going to make this video anyways. It's real quick. Uh, this is uh, how to make your own uh, weathering powders. And all I did was uh, I went to Hobby Lobby and I used a 40% 40, 40 off coupon they have available all the time. And I bought this uh, 40, 48 assorted artist chalk pastels um, I paid about five bucks for it after the coupon and you get two uh, two packs like this various colors um, you probably won't use most of them because of the colors but for five bucks you got you know black white couple different shades of gray a couple different shades of brown couple colors you could use as rust um, now there's a couple different ways to do this um, you can either take your chalk stick in a cup and uh, let's see let, I'm gonna pick a gray here and you can take a razor blade and you can spend the time scraping all that down into a cup uh, that's perfectly fine to do that it's easy it just takes a little bit of time uh, another thing you can do uh, if you have one of these uh, mortar and pestles handy you can use that uh, I actually just bought this one because I didn't feel like sitting around scraping forever the most expensive part of this project would be this uh, it was $12.99 for this but it makes things a lot quicker and easier and while I was at Hobby Lobby I picked up they had a pack of six of these containers uh, for $1.99. I've already crushed up one black stick. So as you can see, I have my black powder now in there. Uh, now I'm going to use this. I'm just, just going to throw a chunk in there or two to, to show you. And then, Basically, you just sit here and crush it until it's a powder. I mean, it's as simple as that. And I will tell you though, using this mortar and pestle, there are the inside of it's kind of like rigid. And after you do a, a color, you're going to have to go up and spend the time, or go to your sink or wherever and spend the time washing it out. If not, you're going to have that color in your next color. Uh, that's one drawback of doing it this way but in no time at all you have yourself weathering powder and like I said I got six containers so I'm going to store six different colors I'll probably just pick the, the ones I'm going to use the most I can always go back and get more containers I mean that's not a problem but pretty much done with that already now I'm going to take a larger opening cup I'm just going to put my powder in to transfer it into uh, into my other smaller containers and you might have to take like a screwdriver or something and kind of scrape around because it does want to stick to the inside of the out of the bowl here. Um, but simple as that. I mean, if you see there's still some larger pieces, go ahead and grind them up a little bit more. In fact, I might dump that back in there and go a little bit more yet. But that's all you do. It's a lot. Other than other than spending the money for this mortar and pestle, uh, which will eventually really pay for itself, um, this is really cheap, a lot cheaper than buying the, the powders already. And whenever you need more, you just go back to Hobby Lobby or any other craft store or whatever and spend another five bucks for another pack.
mean, can't beat that. They also have larger cans of, uh, of matte clear spray paint. It's a lot cheaper than buying a small can of uh, like Tester's doll coat. And we'll do the same thing. But you get the idea. I'll take one of your containers. Transfer your powder over. There we have it. Simple as that. Uh, like I said, I know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of other information out here out there about doing this, but I thought I'd make a video anyways. And uh, that's how uh, you easily make weathering powders. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. And happy model railroading.